Hey guys, just back here again on the CNC mill. Uh, in a previous video, I talked about the differences between going with epoxy granite versus non-epoxy granite. Um, now, I thought I had a pretty rigid system, uh, as talked about in other videos. Um, it's basically 250 uh, UB uh, beams welded together. And yeah, I thought I had a really rigid system, um, but I suppose it can always, always be a little bit stronger. Um, yeah, my system here, it, look, the design of it, the motor being obviously the furthest out probably isn't the best. It should have been obviously behind the spindle. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it probably would have given me less deflection on the head here, but uh, it is what it is and it's done now, so I can't really change it. I don't really want to change it. Um, so yeah, so the Z-axis column, as you can see, is braced there just with some, I think it's like 50, 50 by five mil flat bars running along there. So I did, um, I tested it with no flat bar, then I tested it with welded flat bar, then I tested it with epoxy granite. So the whole Z column there is filled with epoxy granite and the base is filled with epoxy granite. So it's about 400 kilos um, worth there. And then just basically what I did was when I first designed it, I sort of checked the deflection of the head. I'm probably pushing with about sort of 50, 80 kilos worth of force there. And you can just, you, yeah, I just, just initially, I just noticed there was a little bit of deflection there. So I then braced it, checked it, um, and then wasn't happy with it. So I filled it with epoxy granite. And in this video, I'll chuck in the videos um, of me testing it as well. Um, as you can see here as well, I've broken my dial gauge. I've just dropped it. So um, yeah, no real need, need for concern. But, um, but yeah, so this is the main point of the video is just to show the deflection there in the, um, in the spindle um but yeah look it's you know obviously i was going to get some deflection the the motor hanging so far out and obviously the system being so large it's like um you know obviously 500 millimeters to the center of it's actually bigger than that it's about 600 millimeters from the um to the center of the spindle so i do have obviously a lot of weight overhang there and um yeah i was definitely going to get some deflection so i'll just push it here and just check the as you can see there isn't too much movement um yeah so it's a lot better if i'll, I'll chuck in the other videos there <clears throat> of the, um going with non-braced um non-braced and braced versus um yeah epoxy and whatnot so i'll chuck in those and you can see the difference and, and make your own conclusion but uh, but yeah like you I think there was about two millimeters of deflection when I first uh, did it from memory, um, and then that's dropped down considerably. So, um, just to, something to uh, consider when you're doing your own build, and um, yeah, no dramas. If you've got any questions, just pop them down in the comments. Top, bye. So, I've uh, putting those stiffener plates in, I managed to get it down to yeah, about half a millimeter. Just over. Uh, there's a fair bit of play in the table too, so that's not uh, tight yet. So, um, probably a bit less than that, but yeah, hopefully it don't get too much vibration. We'll see how we go. All right, so I'm getting a fair bit of flex in uh, this beam here, in the main vertical beam. Um, as you can see, if I just push the Z-axis there, I'm getting like about a mil and a half of deflection there from this beam. Um, so I'm just going to put some stiffeners, just uh, horizontal stiffeners uh, along this beam and hopefully I can reduce that flex there. Anyway, we'll see how we go.